All right, this video is for anyone who missed on some of our instruction on how to do melody and harmony in SongMaker. So melody is one note at a time, and we're going to do melody above this dark line so that we can do our harmony below. Melody is nice um, if it's the top notes. So in SongMaker, you're going to put in a melody. And I'm doing one note at a time, and I'm skipping one space. You don't have to. You could put extra notes in there if you wanted to, but I'm skipping one space in between. And I'm putting a melody. Okay, here's my melody. It's one note at a time, and it goes up and down. Then, in order to do a harmony, we are going to do more than one note at the same time that goes along with this melody. And we're going to do that below this dark line. The way I showed you how to do that is take these same colors and find the same colors down here. Okay, so I missed. Nope, that's not it. Uh, there we go. So I start out on green, and it's the same green as I have up above, and I'm going to do the exact same thing down here oops that i have up above okay and then once you have this doubled above and below you're going to use the stacked thirds method in order to make chords with this melody so here's how chords work if you have this one note this green note and then you go up counting the green note, one, then an empty space, two, and then you put a note on three. That is a stacked third, one, two, three. Then I'm gonna go up from this, I guess it's purplish blue note. I'm gonna move, go up again, one, empty space, two, three, and I'm gonna have those three notes that are stacked thirds that share one of the notes from the melody. Okay, so this is a harmony that goes along with the melody note up top. Now you can also do stacked thirds. If I take this note right here, I can go up three, one, empty space, two, three, but I could also go down one, empty space, three, one, two, three. And here I still am using the note from the melody, but I'm making a harmony that uses stacked thirds and I did three down and three up. And that's totally cool also. Or this note, I could take this note and then go down three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that'll work just fine, okay? So once you have your melody, then you write the harmony parts. So I'm just gonna randomly put some stuff in here. But do you see how I'm sacking my thirds? All right, and then what I have is I have harmony that goes along with my melody. And it's gonna sound something like this. Okay, then if I decide, hey, I don't want all of these melody notes harmonized, maybe I wanna get rid of these guys and maybe that one, and I'll leave these guys, but maybe I'll take this one out. You don't have to have harmonies for every melody note. And you can add some passing tones in between also. Maybe I want a couple extra notes here, and I'll leave those spaces, and then maybe I'll do an extra note right there and leave these guys alone. So now I have... Okay, so now I have a melody up top and you can you could sing this. That's what melody means. But I also have these couple notes at once down at the bottom that are harmonies. And the last thing I want you to do is add some drums. So these dots down here is a bass drum or a snare drum sound, or you can change the sounds. It's two different sounds. So I'm gonna add just back and forth. You know, you can do whatever you want and make up whatever rhythm you want in this drum part. And then I end up with. OK, 
okay? And if I wanna change from marimba, that's the sound, to piano, then that will change the sound. And if I wanna change the drum sound, I can do that. And now I've got wood blocks. Okay, or I could change it to drum kit. Let's do conga. Conga is like, All right, and that is what I mean by create a melody. That's the notes one at a time up top. A harmony by using the same note as the melody down below and then building thirds on top of it. And then a rhythm using one of the drum things on the bottom. So have fun with that, good luck, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your songs.